Hello and welcome to A Wider World, the show on ability. I'm Elizabeth Kelly. Today's show features the touching reunion of six brothers that you will not want to miss. We'll also take you on a journey inside the art experience. Among life's experiences, art is one that touches the spirit and frees the soul. Let's take a look at how the art experience is helping some folks get in touch with their inner artist. And the whole idea of the art experience is that uh, art is something that you have as a birthright. It's not something you can do wrong. The art experience is in downtown Pontiac, and it is an art therapy studio by Katie Sirowitz, Marilyn Seacatch, and Judy Wilson. And it, it is a place that people feel comfortable, and a place where they can come and kind of call it their own and they are here to help people heal and they all walk the walk. They are, they are all working artists who are using art as a form of expression but also as a path to well-being. Ellen Stern, a lifelong artist, was featured at the Healing Power of the Arts exhibit. For her, art is extremely important. Yeah, I feel desperate without art. I, I need to do art and whenever without a project I feel really at a loss and really depressed. But then a new idea comes along and rescues me. And right now it's the bipolar dolls. They identify themselves as artists. You know, who, like, who am I in the world? I'm an artist. I've been doing art since I'm a little girl. And I remember in nursery school, one day, we used to paint every day. And one day they said we couldn't paint. And I just insisted I had to paint. I had to paint until they brought out the easel and they brought out the paper, but they said you can only use one color at a time. <laughs> so I did, I used one color at a time, but damn it, I had to paint, and I painted. And I was three years old, and I remember that day. Everyone has the ability to make art, but so many people will say to you, oh, I can't even draw a straight line. Well, personally, I can't draw a straight line either because I have a tremor that I call secondary Parkinsonism that I get medication. So being able to draw a straight line has nothing to do with being an artist. And drawing stick figures and saying that you can only draw stick figures just means that you didn't apply yourself yet and you haven't tried yet. But if you give it a try, you'll do better than just stick figures. There, there is art therapy and then there is art as therapy and I think what happens here is art as therapy uh, where, where it's, a, it's, in a generous, it's, in a, it's in a generous place where people do it together and they respect each other's abilities and disabilities. I have seen people come to BSA Arts and to the art experience who couldn't even speak. These are people who were in my workshops and people that I saw here just when I visited, that they could not even speak, but they would turn out this amazing artwork. And how important is that for someone who can't express themselves except by creating something visually? I can only imagine, I can't imagine what it's like to not be able to speak or express yourself in words, but to be able to do such amazing work. For Ellen, art is not only a pastime, but a means to self-reflect. Ellen created a self-portrait where she admits and accepts past struggles in her life. The one in the corner made out of shells is the depressed Ellen. I wanted it to be ugly because I felt like I'm not allowed to make a pretty part of myself until I make the ugly part, until I admit the ugly part. So I made the ugly part. And the large face is the happy Ellen. And the little painting is the embarrassed Ellen that is embarrassed about the manic and embarrassed about the depressed. And now I've come to a balance. I can accept all three parts and I don't feel ashamed anymore of, because it's in the past past and this is in the past and now 
It's a whole Ellen. The art experience encourages its artists to relax and try new things. From my own experience, it is actually allowing myself to take a journey where it's okay to, to take risks. It's okay to, to try new things. It's, it's, it's okay. Whatever I'm doing is, is okay. It's an adventure and it's playful. It's a playful thing. It's not an exacting, dangerous, uh, strict thing. Uh, I mean, I mean, this is freedom. This is the freedom and it starts from the inside out. I wrote a poem called Taking a Chance. Chances are often thoughts of it being the odds of something. There's always a small percent of beating these odds. The only way to discover the unknown is to give it a try. Chance that I decided to take changed my life. I thought I knew the limits of what my strengths and capabilities were until I gave myself a chance and new ideas. I, I'm really glad I took the chance to know the art experience. It makes me feel fantastic because I know that people love them and I know that I love and I can make them any way I want. Feeding the soul is about the best thing we can do and art does that all day long. So. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching A Wider World, The Show and Ability. Let us know what is going on in your corner of the world at access at awiderworld.com. A Wider World is also on Facebook, and we would love to have you as one of our Facebook friends. You can watch your favorite stories from A Wider World online at youtube.com forward slash awiderworld. And don't forget to support your PBS station. See you next week. A Wider World is brought to you by Wright & Philippus, a provider of prosthetics, orthotics, and home medical equipment. Wright & Philippus, first to serve your home health care needs. GM Mobility, we'll help get you there. And now with the added security of OnStar, you can travel with confidence. Learn more at gmmobility.com. The Paralyzed Veterans of America, PVA is advocate for health care, research, and civil rights, serving veterans since 1946. Life, freedom, independence. Each year, the Macomb Oakland Regional Center helps 5,000 people with disabilities live in the community and realize their dreams.